John here guys, and today we're talking about a new prop. Now I don't typically talk about props a lot on this channel, but I had to make an exception this time. This is the Gym Fan 514666 by 3 Hurricane. Now this is the clear gray version, which is also known as the Kebab FPV prop. And this has been not just my favorite prop, but my entire town's favorite prop for a little while now. Now, when I say I enjoyed this prop so much that I wanted to buy a lot, I mean that I wanted to buy a lot. Uh, <laughs> when it comes to buying props, a lot of us in town race or freestyle, we go through a lot of props, guys and we need a prop solution that is going to be in stock when we need to load up for a race, especially some of the top two or three guys that are really competitive that may travel to other cities, they have to have that prop. And we had went through different cycles. I would say 2017, a lot of us were flying Dow Cyclones, almost all of us. Then in 2018, as an entire city, we kind of switched over to HQs. Everyone was flying an HQ. Uh, now, a lot of people were doing the 4.3. I was mostly flying the 4.5. I also did some 4.3 and I did a long stretch of the 4.8, the cheapies that I did talk about on the channel. But um, towards the end of 2018 going into 2019, we were finding them harder and harder to come by. Um, they did come out with the 5141, which was an awesome HQ prop, but it was a little amp hungry. One of our hometown top pilots was burning batteries on those quite frequently, even though they felt great. So we wanted something that had a similar feel, a little bit lighter, a little bit more efficient, and that was plentiful. So we as a community um, were able to do some negotiating and we purchased a thousand sets. <laughs> when it comes to buying props, I can do a thousand now. A little puffy. I'll put on an ice pack while doing my stomach crunches. I can do a thousand now. And uh, this has been a great bonus for us. I'm finding that a lot of the shops are stocking this prop so you can go and purchase them. Um, you know, Pyro, Heli Nation, a few of the other ones are doing outstanding prop bulk discounts if you buy 20, 30, 40 or more sets. And uh, we found this prop to be a little bit more durable than your average HQ. Um, we also found it to be plentiful, which is a criteria. It's a little bit lighter, so it's efficient. It has good power. I think that this 5.1 um, size has a slightly larger amount of disc area for me when I'm flying on those smaller motors like the 2206.5 that I've been flying on and I'm actually going to try another 2205.5 the extra disc area of this prop gives you a little bit more lift so that normally for me I needed a very large motor to be able to fly slow now on a track where you have a lot of tight turns you do have to slow down a bit sometimes i don't have those super hardcore racing skills where i can go full throttle through the entire track and what would happen when i would try to go to a lighter motor i would want to spin a lighter prop like a hq 4.3 but my muscle memory would cause the entire quad to fall because I didn't have enough lift at those low throttle. Now, if you practice enough, you'll get over that. But this is a solution that can allow you those low speeds like a larger motor, um, <laughs> but on a smaller, lighter motor. So I really enjoyed that. Uh, I feel like the top end is somewhere, the best description I can give you is that it's kind of between a 4.3 and a 4.5 of the HQ. Now I, I talk in terms of HQ because that seems to be one of the more popular racing props. So a lot of people will be able to draw comparisons from that. The other thing I really like is, you know, there's, it comes in a variety of colors. There's the blue, there's the yellow. Um, but I really like this clear gray, the kebab version. And the reason for that is if you're flying a frame where the props are in view, 
this is the least distracting. It almost disappears into the rise. Now you can still see it, yes, but it's uh, a little bit less distracting in your field of view as something yellow or something blue. Now note, <laughs> the when you crash and you have to go find your quad, a bright yellow is much easier to find. This pretty much blends in with anything. So when you have to find it, it is a downside. Um, you'll still get little nicks and gates, but I found it to be less troublesome than the HQs. These also fly a little bit better once you start banging them up. Um, a lot of my quads, I would notice, like I would have to really change them out fast. I can go a little bit more uh, banged up on these. Now props are cheap, so I really suggest that you try um, what works for you best. Try a variety of props. Um, and here's the thing, when we were talking as a, as a community to try to purchase a prop, um, a few people tried them and were like, they feel really good, they feel really good, is it gonna be the best? Here's the thing, there's no perfect prop, there's no magic prop, there's no prop that's gonna make you a better racer, a better freestyler, a better pilot, it's not gonna make you do tricks better, it's not gonna make you run faster and jump higher like a set of PF flyers. Shoes guaranteed to make a kid run faster and jump higher. PF flyers. It just, it doesn't work that way. You want something that can work with your needs, meet, you know, work with your skill level, work with your craft that is plentiful, that is affordable, that is durable enough to keep flying. And it has to be, you know, equip. If you're going to make a prop change, if you're flying HQ, or you're flying Dow, or you're flying Azure, and you want to change to this or vice versa, you need something that you can actually get your hands on. And to me, that's just as much of a, of a flight, of a feature than how it feels in the air. So in the end, this wasn't like the Jesus prop. It wasn't the, the, the a total game changer, but it felt as good as anything we had been flying. We can get our hands on it. And uh, when we need to go make that reorder at, at Pyro, or Heli Nation or wherever we can find them. And uh, that's the key. So thanks uh, Jim Fan for working with us, uh, for working with me. And uh, you know, if you wanna get some of these, I have a few if you wanna buy some, but I'll leave the, the links in the description to where you can go to these shops and purchase them. Thanks guys.